You regularly hear stories about the dismal state of Americans' retirement savings or emergency savings. Because balances in those accounts are low, it's natural to think those households aren't saving at all. That's not necessarily true. Research from the U.S. Financial Diaries Project shows that many working families do save. A lot. But they save for the short term, not the long term. Take, for example, Brandy and Frank. Brandy and Frank made $36,000 last year, an average of $3,000 a month. But Brandy and Frank didn't actually earn $3,000 each month. In January, bad weather forced a shutdown of Frank's job site, so he earned less than normal. In May, Brandy and Frank were both able to pick up some extra hours at work. In September, Brandy was sick and had to miss a few days at work. In the U.S. Financial Diaries, we found that many families have incomes that vary a lot from month to month. That makes it hard to save for the long term and build up balances in their bank accounts or other assets. But that doesn't mean they aren't saving. Brandy and Frank use a variety of saving strategies, formal and informal. Frank has a bank savings account. Amy gives her mother some money to set aside. Both of them withhold extra from their taxes so they can build up a lump sum. But they use those savings for needs within the year. Frank uses his savings account as a cushion when his hours get cut at work. Amy buys school supplies and clothes for the kids from the money she sets aside with her mother. They use their tax refund for big-ticket items like vehicle repairs that they put off. So if you ask Brandy and Frank how much savings they have at the end of the year, the answer is going to be, not much. When we look at savings flows for USFD households, we see that more money is going in than staying in. Total flows into savings accounts for USFD households were four times larger than the end-of-year balances. Today, most policies and products are built on the idea of steady incomes and infrequent large emergencies. In the U.S. Financial Diaries, we see volatile incomes and smaller but frequent needs to draw on savings. What would help families like Brandy and Frank get ahead? Workforce policies that focus on making incomes not just higher, but also more predictable. Savings policies and products that help families build and manage short-term savings. To learn more about the U.S. Financial Diaries and how working families save, visit usfinancialdiaries.org.